അമ്മേ അച്ചസിന് അച്ഛമ്മ ഇപ്പൊ കാക്കയായി മാറി തോന്നുന്നുണ്ടോ Greetings to all respected delegates, film enthusiasts and the entire team. The 13th Mumbai Shorts International Film Festival. My name is Manoj Azir Panikar and I am the writer, director and editor of my debut short film, Somber Stacks. Back in December 2023, one of my mother's friends, she called her and talked for more than an hour about you know her cancer the issues in her family and uh the fear of uh, having to leave her only child and you know a few days after this call we received a message from her family saying that she passed away and this really shook me and my family because you know the words that she said during that call that really stuck uh with us and you know i have always been obsessed with the themes of death and afterlife so you know the idea of a single child having to deal with uh, grief in their own way that seemed like a very interesting topic for me being my first short film and uh, you know having no connections to the film field i tried to write a script that could uh, utilize the resources and the location that i already have at my disposal but making a movie involves a lot of people's efforts into you know coordinating a lot of difficult tasks and i knew i had to uh, gather a reliable crew for that and you know luckily one of the juniors at my college he is the co-founder of a collective a film collective in trivandrum uh, they're called the dying art collective and they're this group of really passionate uh, filmmakers who you know help other indie filmmakers execute their ideas with their limited budget and so yeah i got in touch with them and they were able to uh, give me uh, you know a reliable crew and get the necessary equipment under the limited budget and you know in a short period of time uh, one of the main obstacles that we uh, faced during production phase was definitely the environmental constraints uh, you know because a major aspect of the story was uh, how the clouds Uh, are always covered in this the skies and there is no sunlight anywhere uh, which was not the case uh, at our location so the crew they had to like handle the schedule and uh, play with the equipment so as to you know capture very uh, least sunlight as possible uh, on film and then there's uh, another scene in the movie that takes entirely near the side of a pond and to capture the essence of the conversation that happens in that scene Uh, our dop chali he had to stand literally stand in the water for more than 2 hours uh, and he had to do that you know with a steady hand because uh, he couldn't use any external equipment to the, uh, to keep the camera steady i guess another challenge that we faced uh, was to handle non professional actors like myself uh, because uh, most of the side characters that you see uh, in the movie they are played by uh people that uh, i know from my village they live close by uh, to my house and you know because there was very minimal dialogue for the magus uh, it was uh, it was a fun process to work with them and because i knew them already uh, we could really uh, connect with what was needed to be done i would say that um, the output of the movie is uh, for the most part it is uh, close to what i had in mind while you know writing the script or while i was doing the storyboard uh, but i would also say in some parts it even came better because you know uh, the things that our dop and assistant directors they notice on set and how we were able to use all those things uh, into the story and i think that made the experience a lot better i have always been interested in uh, writing stories that you know that would appeal to all ages equally so it was important for me to craft a movie that would appeal to the older audience who you know grew up watching the uh, movies of the 80s uh, which is often called the you know the golden era of malayalam cinema and i tried to infuse themes of isolation and the loss of innocence you know uh, ideas that the younger audience could relate to i guess i wanted megavrithum to be part of a movement that 
you know keeps the space for uh, empathetic stories in Indian cinema uh, because uh, in the middle of all uh, you know all these masala movies and male oriented macho movies i have seen uh, our audience here having a uh, a soft spot for you know emotionally engaging family oriented movies as well and you know because it's the 21st century there is also uh, a rise of you know stories that revolve around female uh, characters who you know go beyond the husbands or the boyfriends or romantic relationships and they you know engage in co- more complex uh, conversations about morality and uh, you know death i am genuinely honored to share a uh, somber skies with the wonderful audience of this prestigious film festival i want to thank the entire team of the, the 13th mumbai shorts film festival for giving me the opportunity to you know, reach a wider audience in kolkata thank you and have a wonderful day